Hey fam, Aaliyah here. Oh, welcome back. Ooh, my voice cracked a little bit. <clears throat> Hey fam, Aaliyah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I'm going to see how many decent looks I can do, I can pull out, I can create, I can whip up on my face with one palette, okay? So I partnered up with Deck of Scarlet and they provided me with their current palette at the moment. This one is done in collaboration with a YouTuber by the name of Belle Jordan. If you have heard of her, if you watch her videos, this palette was done in collaboration with her. Deck of Scarlet always partners with YouTubers every two months on a new palette. It is a subscription, subscription Ooh, excuse me. It is a subscription service in which you get a new palette every two months and it's $30 every two months. If that's your kind of thing, if you like a kind of person who doesn't like to shop for eyeshadows, you would rather it just be sent to you in the mail and then you can dibble and dabble into it every two months. This might be the subscription service for you, girl. Go ahead and check out Deck of Squarelets. So, you know, we're going to test the blendability. Okay, we're going to test the pigmentation. You get three shadows, a highlighter, a blush, and two um, lip, lip colors. So, one, we're going to see if this works for my skin tone. We're going to see if she looks good. We're going to see if we can pull out any decent looks. How many decent looks we can pull out. And, you know, my thoughts on this quarter what is what is a two month it's not a quarter huh that's three months huh well this seasons well no seasons is three months too huh this two month subscriptions palettes this time um we're gonna see if she's any good okay so without further con jay if you are interested in seeing how many looks i can crank out of a deck of scarlet palette then stay tuned keep on watching and i hope you enjoy this video Alright, so here we have the sleeve of the palette as well as the actual palette. I think the artwork on this palette is beautiful. I love it. On the left side, we have the lip colors and on the right side, we have the three shadows, the highlighter, and the blush. This is what the palette looks like fully open. Okay, first we have the first lip color. It is in the shade Tempting. It's like a mauve pink shade. There's a swatch of her. The second lip shade is called Passion. She's like a berry magenta shade and there is a swatch of her. They're actually very opaque and pigmented. The first First eyeshadow is called Supernova. There's a swatch of her, very chromey. Okay, the second shadow is called Crush. This is like a very deep wine berry shade. And the last shadow is called Drama. And this is a very like gray, taupey brown shade. The highlighter is called Shh. No, like really, shh, girl, shh. <laughs> It's a very like yellowy highlighter and then we have the blush which is called whisper and it's like a very mauvey blush color Let's get into look one shall we first? I'm gonna start off by highlighting my brow bone and I'm going to take the the highlighter called shh with a morphe like flat shader brush and I'm just going to pack that into my brow bone and next, I'm going to take the shade Crush with a Morphe E17, and I'm going to really pack that into my crease and my outer corner, and then I'm going to begin to blend her out to diffuse the edges. Um, first, upon using this shadow, I was like, girl, she's a little patchy. She was pigmented, but if you were to blend right on top of the shadow, the pigment like fades and it becomes patchy. Patchy. So, in, later, in a later look, I will blend it in a different way. But upon first blending her, um, yeah, you can see like she just was not blending smooth. So we're going to just move right along. I'm going to do a half cut crease. This is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is in the shade SX09 and this is a Luxie Beauty 211. I don't normally use this brush to like cut my crease. I don't know what I was thinking, but girl, was I having trouble. Anyways, we're just going to bring it halfway through and we're going to go ahead and take Supernova. She's like a galaxy shade, like she's a lavender, she has sparkle, she has chrome to her. But even though the swatches were so pigmented, girl, this just was not sticking that well. But anyways, I'm taking a Profusion brush. This came in one of their shadow palettes and I'm just really working to pack on Supernova onto the lids so she can be vibrant, so she can be pigmented, so she can be synced. 
And now I'm just going into the same shadow, Crush, and we're going to blend Supernova and Crush together so they can have a beautiful and seamless transition. And this is a Morphe R41 brush. I'm really working to blend them together. They actually blended together pretty nicely but it did take a while these shadows are not the best at blending girl you i blended for so long you guys so long to make these shadows work but you know i cannot flop i cannot flop on this channel girl not on my makeup looks anyways i'm just taking that same shadow crush and i'm blending it onto the lower lash line to add some balance and really diffusing those edges um, at the bottom lash line actually looked pretty good and as I continued to blend it kind of looked better and better and more smooth I just needed a smooth blend girl. I was like, please work with me Anyways, I'm going back in with supernova and popping that into my inner lower corner to brighten up the eyes and complete the eyeshadow look And we're going to take this mascara that came with a deck of scarlet palette I'm going to apply that to my top and bottom lashes And for falsies, I'm going to pop on the Dragon Lee Mini Lashes by Dubudsum. And of course, you can use code Aaliyah20 to save some quaint. Okay, I'm going to take the Morphe E4 brush and I'm going to take that blush called Whisper and apply that to my cheeks. I actually really like this blush color. It's like a very folly blush color. And girl, it showed up on my cheeks, girl. Okay, pigmented, yes, come through. And next, I'm gonna go in with my Moda Highlight and Glow Brush. And I'm going to apply that highlight to the high points of my face. That includes my cheekbones, okay, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and the upper bridge of my nose. Don't get me wrong, girl, this highlight is beautiful. Like, she was gleaming. However, the yellow presence, okay, the yellow undertone okay the yellowness of this highlighter was a little bit too yellow girl because in person she looked a little crazy i'm just warning you guys but honestly the highlighter had a really good formula it was really gleaming okay i was shining And for the lip color, I'm taking this Luxie Beauty 215 brush to apply the lip colors and I'm applying Passion straight to the lips. I wanted to make sure, okay, it applied crisply onto my lips. So that's why I use like an angled brush. And these lip colors are actually very pigmented. They're actually very opaque. I was impressed. And this completes look number one. I'm just going to close out with my extraness. Just a quick slow-mo. And now we're going to move on to look number two. I'm just going to do the same thing. Um, you won't see me apply blush and highlight in the next two looks because it's very redundant. And the mascara. I applied them in all three looks so I will only show it once. But I'm going to apply the same highlighter shade into the brow bone and now i'm taking crush and i'm applying it with a pencil brush this is the morphe r41 i'm applying it to the inner and outer corners because we're going to sandwich the center lid and create a halo eye so i'm just working up the pigmentation with a pencil brush just to keep the colors controlled or to keep crush controlled and i'm also going to apply it directly into the crease and i'm going to make sure i build up all of that pigmentation of the shadows and only blend on the outer edge of the shadow i'm not going to blend on top of the shadow because when i did that prior that's how it became patchy um so i'm just going to really work to blend it slowly with a pencil brush and not a larger fluffy brush so i can keep the blend and controlled and so I can minimize patchiness I only did this because okay I had to make the look look good okay I cannot flop over here so blending this did take a while and yes I did use a wet base so to ensure like the shadow sticked and everything or stuck my bad excuse my horrible grandma girl All right, next I'm gonna take that same Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer and I'm using a very precise lip brush and I'm going to create a halo eye. So first, we need to create this spotlight, which is what I'm creating right now. It's like the moon shining over the river at night and creating that ripple effect. Girl, that's basically what a halo eye is. And then I'm just going to bring it down 
and then I'm going to pack on supernova into where I just created that spotlight halo so I'm just going to work slowly to pack on supernova because it was kind of it was hard to stick even though I did not set the concealer at all supernova you was deceiving girl you had me thinking you was going to be pigmented okay you was a little deceiving girl anyways I'm just going to work to build up supernova onto the halo And now I'm just going to take that same Morphe R41 brush. So the halo in the inner and outer corners have a seamless transition into one another, okay? Because my blend game cannot be clocks. Well, I mean, I guess you could kind of clock her in these looks. Because, you know, blending these eyeshadows were a little tough, okay? So give me a break this time. But, you know, I aim to make my blend game unclockable, you heard. <laughs> And now I'm just going to do the same thing to the lower lash line. I'm going to pack on Crush to the outer lower lash line and the inner lower lash line. Leaving because we're going to sandwich the middle lower lash line. And again, I'm just going to take some concealer and lay that down on the center lower lash line so Supernova can stick with no issue and she not over here diminishing into the thin air by dusting it away. And I'm just going to blend it for a seamless transition. And for this look, I'm applying the new Budsum Dragon Lee lashes, not the Dragon Lee minis. These are the Dragon Lees. And of course, honey, use code Aaliyah20 at checkout at newbudsum.com. Okay, for this look, I am mixing Tempting and Passion. So I'm mixing both lip colors together because Passion was a little too deep for this look. It didn't look right. And Tempting was a little too light. She didn't look right. Okay, so I just mixed them both together with that same Luxie Beauty 215 brush. And this completes look number two. We created a deep berry wine halo eye girl. Moving on to the last look. Look number three. Okay, the last decent look I could come up with. Okay, again, we are going to pack that highlighter onto the brow bone. And next, we're going to try out this shade Drama, okay? This is a Morphe M518. I did not like this shadow the moment I put it into my crease, girl. She was way too cool toned. She looked gray on me. She looked ashy. She looked muddy. So, you know what? I was a little shook filming this because I was like, darn it. I got I to gotta come up with a good look. This is going to flop. I can't flop. So, I thought something quick on my feet. I was like, graphic liner, girl. So, next, I'm going to mix both the blush and the highlighter together this is a morphe e14 brush i'm just going to put that onto my lids just to sort of complete like the lid area of my look just so it wasn't looking bare and so i had a little bit of a mauvey undertone next i'm going to take the lip color in the shade passion with that uh, luxie beauty 215 brush and i'm going to create a graphic liner look with a lip color okay listen thank the lord for my mind thank the lord that i be thinking i'm so creative Ugh, my mind girl anyways if i did not think of this i was like shook i was like oh no this look is gonna flop you know good thing for my mind anyways i'm just kidding now i'm going in with a bh cosmetics liner brush so I can get that precise line on my lid area because, you know, I need precision. And I'm just using that lip color to create that line. Actually, this lip color was super easy to work with. So we created the graphic liner. Now I'm just balancing out the eye. I'm taking this BH Cosmetics pencil brush and I'm taking the shade Crush. And I'm lightly putting that on my lower lash line. I don't want it to be too pigmented and too dark. I just want to create some balance. And next, I'm going to take Supernova, and I'm just going to lay it right on top of Crush. This kind of gave it like a retro 80s vibe kind of look. I really liked it. Next, I'm going to take the Dubutsum Lashes in the style Lion S, and I'm going to plop that into my eyes to complete this look. And for the lip color, I'm taking the shade Tempting. I'm not mixing it with any other shade. With that same Luxie Beauty 215 brush. And we're going to apply that to our lips to complete this look. And yes, the same blush and highlight are on my cheeks and the high points of my face. 
And this completes look number three. Look number three has to be my fave. It just looks so retro and I just really like it. It reminds me of Twiggy, the supermodel. Before I close out this video, I do want to go ahead and give a post notification shout out to Tia Atkinson. Tia Atkinson, I hope I pronounced your name right, girl. Thank you so much for having my post notifications on. I appreciate you so much. I especially appreciate this comment. I love this comment so much. Thank you for commenting this on my videos. I love you so much, girl. Thank you for supporting me, girl. If you would like an appreciation shout out in one of my videos, ensure you are subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads. And hashtag notification gang or squad after your comment. I love you guys so much. And until next time, always remember to serve, honey. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.